Top of the morning to you. There's the Milner Lake over there. A little bit of water laying around. Let's go over and see how deep it is. Something nice out. 15 degrees this morning. It's Friday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. Look at that, I should get my fishing pole out. Maybe I'll catch something. Soon, it'll be fishing season. It's over here. It's nice to have a great by your house. This thing doesn't have uh, image stabilization. a little high, but it's been uh, raining. Uh, not now, but it's supposed to rain again, but it's been raining quite a bit lately. Better than snow. It's time for winter to be done. Everybody's just sick of it. In February you could rake your lawn, and in March you had more winter, so much snow that you're doing your driveway and shoveling. Yeah. It's a beautiful morning though. I had to cut this big tree down. It got struck by lightning years ago. It's got a little bit of a crook to it from the lightning bolt. That's for sure. No, lots of work. That one's dead. It's got to come down. Eventually it'll become uh, quite a safety hazard because I think the wind's always blowing up the road. It seems like a lot, so it's probably going to blow onto my garden garage and write this thing off. I don't really want that to happen, so she's going to go down that way. And unfortunately, I'm going to probably have to get into the brook, but it'll be in the summer when I cut it so that I don't have to wade in uh, five, six feet of water, seven feet of water there because it's fairly deep in that spot. So, yeah, it's pretty hard to follow it any other way because it's got a natural lean that way, and I'm not going to try to do anything fancy and try to pull it over or anything. I could probably hook onto it though at the top and pull it, but. That's just going to get me into a mess anyway, because it's going to pull over into all this crap, and I don't know. It is what it is, so I'll be uh, down there with my swimming trunks on, probably, and trying to cut it up. I've got no choice. I know you're not supposed to uh, maybe fall it in the direction of a brook, but what are you going to do? For safety's sake, I think it overrides that. So it is what it is, and I have to do it, and that's all there is to it, so got to be done. Hate to cut a tree down. I love trees. I love nature. I could be outside all the time. My dad was like that too. He always wanted to be outside puttering around and uh, we enjoyed that a lot. Both of us working together cutting wood and uh, just doing a little bit of everything outside. Oh I see a little chipmunk. See it. I don't think I can quite focus in on this. No, it doesn't want me to. I think this thing is it's limited to what I can do with it. So I have another camera, but I don't use it very often. I should get it out. And I want to invest in a, a drone and a new camera for doing YouTube videos. I, I have lots of ideas, but it's just getting around to spending the money on that. And, and doing it, but let's see if I can get in there without disturbing that thing. Might be able to get that. I'm gonna try. I'll probably scare it. Yeah, it's there. 
Can you see it? There he is. Just sitting there, chilling. Like I said, nature is beautiful. He's eating away. Some seeds. Oh, they just dropped something. But there's lots of feed here. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, so anyway, not a bad day. Sun would like to come out. Uh, I don't know if it's going to, though, because it said rain for this afternoon. Heavy rain, so. Anyway, what can you do? Not a whole lot, I guess. Enjoy the day that you have. Enjoy every day that you have. I like to say under the brook. I like to put some kind of gazebo here, maybe fit it in the back here where it's all kind of cleared out a bit. And just have it so you can sit, although that tree will be gone. Which, you know, like I said, it's a shame to cut it down because it's nice. It would be nice to leave it there. Anyway, it's just going to come down. It's going to crack at the bottom too. You can see it, but it's starting to split at the bottom. So, anyway, it's just going to go bye bye. Anyway, just a little update on uh, what's happening here with the brook and, and nature. Isn't it beautiful? Ciao.